Pila Sunday, thank you very much for your time. You start off at the Vaal in the first race with an unraced horse for the St. John Grey stable called Iger Sanction. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, he will probably need the run because he's still a baby and he's still a colt, so he will probably need the run. Okay, the stable companion to that one is in race three, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, you know, Eiffel Tower ran very good race first time out and uh, he got beat by the decent horses, so he should produce something on Thursday. So I think uh, he, he has a big chance to win. So there are no winners out of that form line, but there haven't been that many runners. Does he give you an encouraging feel? Yeah, 100%. As I said, that uh, he's got a big winning chance on that day, so I'm very confident with him. Right, race four, what we all learn about. Uh, is life lessons. What are you expecting there? Life lessons, um, it didn't run well last time. I think it was still green, maybe still going to need it. It's still need to learn what's going on. One of the guys that has really helped you along in terms of guidance, he he relates fondly the uh, the experience that you had at the academy on the electronic horse, Mr. Pettigrew. He's got bold fortune running for you in race five. I know, bold fortune is an old man, but uh, she's been... Fresh at track, she's been working well. I think uh, maybe she might do something. So I, I would say to the Panthers, they mustn't leave her out to the each way chance because uh, she's been doing very well. You reckon you can get the best out of her? Uh, I think so, 100%. Uh, then you've got just one ride for Diane Stinger, and that's Lady Zaltzanat. Yeah, I worked there today. She felt like uh, she's a horse that will enjoy the distance. And I think uh, she'll be up there with the lightweight. She should be up there. And then we go back to Mr. Pettigrew's yard. Nice move in race seven. Yeah, you know, nice move. I think she will need the run because she didn't have a gallop and she's been off for a while. And 1,200, I think, is still sharp for her. But she might be, she might run a place. Okay, and then uh, after ours has been running some decent sort of races for a stable that you know very well in uh, Mr. St. John Gray. Yeah, you know, uh, after ours, I beat him. Uh, I was on funky music. So I think on his best... I think uh, he's going to give a problem in that field. He should run very well. After hours up the inside, asserts Funky Music tries to match. Coming in hot towards the outside, Carnello's been beaten off. Then comes JP2000, but it's Funky Music who picks up the lead. After hours battling back, then JP2000 and coming in hot. Funky Music is just the leader. After hours scrambling up the inside, but it goes to Funky Music. So you've got the best of both worlds. You get the win out of Funky Music. Hope you get the win on this one. 100%. That's what I'm looking for.